Good afternoon, YouTube friends. Thanks so much for coming by. Today we are making a delicious and refreshing grilled vegetable salad that's chock full of smoky, sweet, and savory flavors. Keep on watching to see how we do it. Alrighty guys, to get started on our grilled vegetable salad, we're just going to prep some raw Brussels sprouts here. I'm just cutting off the ends and cutting them in half. We're gonna do a large handful, so like 10 to 15 Brussels sprouts. The reason why we're cutting them in half is it'll help our marinade soak into those little crevices there, and it'll also help us get nice and crispy on all the edges, which is the key to making a really yummy Brussels sprout that doesn't taste like bitter cabbage. <laughs> So I'm just dumping these in some salted boiling water. We're going to blanch them for about five to seven minutes until they get bright green and a little bit tender. This will help us grill them a little bit more easily. And then we're just going to drain them and rinse them with cold water to stop the cooking process. And now we're going to start with our marinade. Okay, in my bowl here I've got one tablespoon of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of liquid aminos, which is pretty much a gluten-free soy sauce. So I, if you have just soy sauce in your fridge or pantry, you can totally use that instead. Just adding a little bit of, of salt here, pretty much, and flavor. And then to that, I am going to add one tablespoon of maple syrup. That's gonna give us some nice sweetness that's gonna caramelize on the grill with our veggies. And then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid smoke. This is an awesome thing to use to get some nice smoky flavor in, but it's incredibly potent. So I just used three little drops here and that's perfectly enough. And then for our dry ingredients, I have some nutritional yeast, black pepper, roasted red pepper flakes, onion powder, and garlic salt. I will of course link below the amounts that I used. And we're just gonna stir those together and toss in our Brussels sprouts to coat them really well. And this is, again, why we've got the Brussels sprouts cut in half, because that marinade's gonna hopefully fill into those cracks of the Brussels sprouts to get flavor everywhere, and also that maple syrup everywhere, so it'll get a nice, caramely, crunchy skin on top of it when we grill it. And once our sprouts are nice and coated here, we're just going to start skewering them and place them on a cookie sheet until we're ready to grill them. So I'm just taking them, if you do them along the side like so, they are a little tricky to stab, but you can get them through that way much easier than trying to go through that bottom little um, stem part. And what I'm specifically trying to do is keep the flat side on one side and the rounded side on the other so we can get some nice surface area going when we grill them when they're on the flat side if that makes sense i'll of course show you as we grill them now you can totally take these straight to the grill when you're done skewering them but if you have the time or if you're trying to do this in advance to prep for a barbecue you can skewer all of these skewer <laughs> did i say that right all of your veggies and then just leave them in the fridge and that marinade will just soak up even more and get even more flavor imparted into your veggies. So whatever works best for you. I'm just gonna spoon some of this marinade right onto the Brussels sprouts on the cut edge so it can kind of soak into those little, little leaf folds there. And a little bonus to vegan cooking, which is awesome, this marinade and these little leaves of our blanched Brussels sprouts. Since we didn't have any raw meat, which you normally do when you make kebabs, we can totally use this as a dressing in our salad. And the little leaves are already cooked and perfectly delicious. So we can also add that to our salad as well for added texture and flavor. So we're gonna reserve that to use for later. But first I'm gonna use up a little bit more of the marinade with some cherry tomatoes and some red onion and we'll skewer those as well. Really, any vegetables you have on hand work awesome with this marinade. I've done it with zucchini. You could do it with 
gosh, just now, of course, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> you could do it with root vegetables. You could do it with potatoes, with sweet potatoes. Really, whatever you're in the mood for, this smoky and sweet marinade is incredibly versatile. So while I was skewering everything, Steve turned down our grill and is letting it preheat. We're gonna let it get to at least 400 degrees before we see our little kebabs here. We want some nice heat so we can get a really nice caramelization going on. Alrighty, we've got a nice and hot grill. We've got a little bit of oil in our marinade so we know our veggies aren't gonna stick. And we're just gonna lay them across here. I'm laying them purposely rounded side down so that marinade can soak in with the heat even more into those little cracks of the Brussels sprouts so we can get as much flavor as possible. We've got our little cherry tomatoes here and our segmented red onion. We're going to close the lid. Oh, I've also got a, a little vegan sausage for some added protein. Totally optional, but I had one left. <laughs> then I'm just going to pour whatever marinade we have left over all over these veggies to use it all up. And after about five or six minutes, I'm flipping them. Look at that beautiful caramelization happening. That's what we are going for. We want it to be nice and crispy. Now we're going to go on to the flat side, which will give us a lot more surface area and you'll be able to get a lot more of that char going on than on the round side. And these tomatoes are blistering really nicely. They're gonna be bursting with flavor. And be careful with your tomatoes. They will kind of get mushy and fall apart much more quickly than the Brussels sprouts or the onion will, so I'm pulling those off a little early. And now that we've got a really nice char on these Brussels sprouts, nice and golden brown, and some char marks on the edges there, we're just going to pull those off as well. We are good to go. Look how beautiful those are. It'll convert even the most anti-Brussels sprout eaters. <laughs> Is that a term? I'm making it a term. So now that we've got our beautifully grilled vegetables, we are going to make an incredibly cheap salad. <laughs> I keep my eye out for manager special vegetables all the time, especially if I know I can use them up quickly. So this heart of romaine um, box, if I could spit it out, was only a dollar and everything was nice and crispy and beautiful looking still. So butt it up, gonna use them up, maybe nice and crunchy and refreshing. So I'm just lining these little lettuce leaves along our large bowl here. And I got this little pack of mini cucumbers. They're awesome to snack on and they're really nice to use for salads really quickly because you can just slice them on up, pull them out of your fridge there and you're good to go. So I've got one of those cucumbers for a little bit more crunch and freshness. And then remember how I said I was gonna save that marinade? We're gonna pour that on. We've got our little bits of onion that wouldn't fit on the skewer, our Brussels sprout leaves, and our extra marinade as a bit of dressing. A nice way to use up everything that we're cooking with today. And it'll add a lot more flavor as well. And then we're just gonna layer on all of our vegetables here. We've got our red onion that gets nice and sweet when you cook it on the grill. Those char marks really up the flavor profile as well. Our Brussels sprouts, of course, our tomatoes, and then our vegan sausage. I think that this is, it's a field roast brand. It's mine and Steve's favorite. It's the Italian sausage uh, flavor. It has a really nice texture and flavor, and it's awesome because Steve loves it too, so we can buy it and use them up pretty easily. It's gonna add a little bit of protein to our 
our salad here. And in my very humble opinion, that is a salad, my friends. <laughs> I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of a simple tahini dressing. It's my favorite dressing. It's just three ingredients. There's tahini, lemon juice, water, of four ingredients, and some nutritional yeast. You can juice it up with a little bit of salt and pepper as well, but it's super simple and goes really awesome with most salad flavors. And it, it gives, it's really creamy, so it's like having almost like a ranch but the flavor's better and it's so much better for you. So I'll link below that recipe as well. And there you have it. My most favorite summer salad, the best way to cook Brussels sprouts in my opinion. I hope that you guys give this a shot. Use any vegetables. Our gardens are gonna be hopefully overflowing soon. You can use all sorts of things that you've grown in your garden. Super excited about that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and you're staying safe and healthy. And I will chat with you. I will chat with you soon. <laughs> Cheers.